hello everyone thank you so much for tuning in it's nadia today i will be sharing with you how i do my super easy diy hot oil treatment get ready it's about to get hot let's get started going to need an applicator bottle and i am going to start with an olive oil olive oil is a good natural hair conditioner and it nourishes the hair shaft and seals moisture so it has fatty acids which help the hair to look very shiny and feel soft and I am going to be using about an ounce of each oil and we're going to put that in the applicator bottle next I am going to be taking my sweet almond oil it is loaded with vitamin A B D E and fight dry and flaky scalp next I am going to be grabbing my black Jamaican castor oil I love this oil because it improves scalp circulation and regrows hair I am going to add a few drops of my tea tree oil I love tea tree oil because it boosts scalp health it induces new hair growth and also nourishes the hair follicle give it a good shake and your mixture is ready for the next step in a large bowl I take hot water and I take a small glass bowl and I let it sit in the hot water then I take my oil mixture and add it in the small glass bowl and I let it sit for five minutes after five minutes it should be um, warm enough and I place that oil back in the a bottle my easy DIY hot oil treatment. Um, I usually do this to, in, uh, to maintain a healthy scalp and also retain moisture in my hair. Um, you wanna do this mostly when the uh, weather is cold because as the weather is cold, our hair gets dry. Um, but I'm doing it this right now in the summer because I haven't done it in like almost a year. Don't judge me, but this is why. Let's get to it. So you wanna start this on dirty hair dry hair dirty hair um, so as you see my hair is super dry but what you're going to do um, I'm going to separate so let me just show you how my scalp look right now so you can see it's it's dry it's flaky um, going to solve the benefit of the um, hot oil treatment is give your hair some existence it's going to give it some body and definitely some glow to it and so it will also help retain the moisture balance in our hair nothing complicated let's just so this is just how I part my hair first things first I'm going to grab my spray bottle I have warm water in here and I was just going to saturate our hair with water you don't want to do this on dry hair It is called a hot oil treatment, but it doesn't mean that the oil has to be hot. You don't need to be burning your scalp over here. I left it for five minutes, and when it's warm enough, that's when you you grab you grab the oil and I'm going to start from my scalp. So I'm going to oil that scalp. I'm going to really go in. You might want to do this wearing um, a, a t-shirt that you really don't care about because it's about to get messy. And then you're going to add a lot on your hair and definitely your ends, guys. Like, your ends need some love, yo. So, and then you're just going to massage it. And it's so good. You guys know how I feel about scalp massage. Like, I don't have to repeat myself, but you already know. So this is a good time to um, also um, remove the shedded hair. So, uh, and honestly, you can use any type of oil that you want, but I, I will recommend whatever oil that you're going to be using, have at least either olive oil, coconut oil, or avocado oil. Those, those three oils are the best oils that don't just sit on your hair it actually does penetrate your hair strands so whatever oil that you're going to use but i would suggest to have at least um one of those three oils that i just mentioned and yes. 
so we're going to repeat the same steps you grab your spray bottle and spray your hair with warm water and make sure you really get it not really soaking wet but damp and then you're going to grab your um, your oil and you're going to start applying oil from root to tip mostly on the scalp the hair your edges do not forget your edges girl and you're going to give extra love on your ends as well because your ends are the oldest portion of your hair and it's it's dry it's older it's, it's most of the time it's brittle it breaks easily so always give extra love go ahead and give that scalp a good scalp massage to give you some not just to relax yourself but to stimulate hair growth remove the shedded hair bantu knot that and move Move on to the next step. So once you're done, I usually just put this shower cup. If you have a hooded dryer, I would suggest to um, you, you can either sit under your uh, a hooded dryer um, for about 15, half an hour. But if you don't, I don't have one, so I usually do this method. And then I add another plastic bag on top. And then I'm going to add, just use like an old t-shirt that nobody cares about. Uh, so this method is going to allow uh, my body heat to help the oil penetrate through, through my hair. So if you don't have a hooded dryer, um, do what you gotta do. Um, this method works best for me. I would suggest to either, you can use this and leave it, if you're in a hurry, leave it for half an hour, like I said, or 45 minutes. Um, if not, in my case, you uh, leave it overnight, or right now it's like 10 in the morning, so I'm gonna leave it like all day. I'm gonna wash my hair like around 6, 7 p.m. I'll be back and just show you how it looks before I shampoo and condition my hair, but um, that's it. Super simple. Um, see you in a bit and we're back this is seven hours later so drum roll let's wait and see what this looks like and voila as you can see you barely can see the oil except like on my forehead right there but because um, my body heat heat helped the oils to really penetrate, um, nurture, and also absorb into my scalp and hair. So look at that, guys. I wish you can feel this. So soft. My hair feels so soft. It has body. It's, it's nourished. I wish you could touch this. Like, look at this, guys. Even Stevie Wonder can see this. So now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and just shampoo and deep condition my hair. I am actually trying this deep conditioner, this um, actually a hair mask for the first time. So stay tuned for my next video and I will be reviewing this product right here. It will be linked in the description box. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love and I appreciate you guys. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if this was helpful or a blessing to you. And I love you and appreciate you for watching. See you next time. God bless.